you excited? Yeah! Hey! Hey, little LT learners! It's me, Lieutenant Learning! And this time, we're gonna learn about science! Whoa! Hey, did you know that science is just learning about the natural world around us? Yeah! That can be space, that could be the ocean, that could be chemical reactions. Whoa! It could be just about anything that you can observe in the natural world. Yeah, through observation and experimentation, you can make science happen. Whoa! Whoa! And we're gonna make some science happen today with some basic ingredients that we can make something extraordinary out of. And I cannot wait to show you, come on! Hey, but before we start, safety first. We have to put our scientific safety gear on. Are you ready? Whoa! Yeah! Check it out! Oh. <laughs> this is my safety science equipment. Because today, we're going to be making elephant toothpaste. <laughs> and you're going to see why they call elephant toothpaste here in just one moment. Are you ready? Whoa! Look at that. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> yeah, look. It almost looks like it's big enough to be for an elephant. Whoa! Do you remember those scientific ingredients we talked about? Are you ready to see them? Okay, here they come! Whoa! Hey, do you see all these ingredients? And we'll learn about those as we go, but safety first. And that means that you never do a science experiment without an adult, okay? All right, so this is the soap. This is gonna trap the air bubbles that are created by this experiment, and they're gonna make everything happen really, really rapidly and really, really quick. We have the hydrogen peroxide and the catalyst. Potassium iodide crystals are really important, and so is everything here, except for the food coloring, but that makes it a lot cooler. First, we're gonna take some potassium iodine crystals, and we're gonna liquidize them. Whoa, we're gonna turn them into a liquid. <laughs> and then we're gonna take the water to dissolve the crystals. Whoa. Now that we've got this potassium iodine crystals, in this measuring cup and we're letting it dissolve with the water we're gonna move on to the next part but before we start i have to put my safety glasses back on yeah and the next step is actually taking this hydrogen peroxide and putting it in our test tubes right here <laughs> we're gonna put about a third of the bottle in each one of these test tubes whoa and then we're gonna go to our next step which is the food coloring this is gonna make it really, really exciting. What colors do you think we're gonna use? <laughs> Maybe one of my favorite colors. How about the color green? <laughs> yeah, I love the color green. That'll go in this one right there. And then can you think of one of my other favorite colors? Yeah, the color yellow. I know it doesn't look yellow, but it is yellow and it's gonna be really diluted. And I can even make it turn orange. Yeah, now the next color. I think I want to do the color blue. Okay, so let's start off with the color green. Here comes the color green. I'm so excited. <laughs> Whoa, doesn't that look orange? Yeah, because orange and yellow are very similar colors. And then now we have the color blue. <laughs> Woo! Science, science, let it begin. It's science, 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 my friend. You're going to learn today about science as we play. <laughs> I love science and it's so fun to make up things like songs and dance moves. <laughs> Just let your creativity take you wherever it needs to go. And right now, I need to go behind this table and get some work done. And by work, I mean playing. <laughs> the next step is for us to add the soap to these beakers. Yeah, I'm so excited to add some soap to these test tubes. That's just another word for a scientific instrument, a beaker or a test tube. And today, we're gonna call them a test tube because we're running the science experiment test. I am so pumped for this next step. One of my favorite ingredients is soap. You wanna know why? Because soap is really important to this scientific experiment. Yeah, you see these bubbles? <laughs> That's kind of what's gonna happen here. I'm actually creating oxygen. Yeah, we have hydrogen peroxide in here and the hydrogen molecules are gonna explode when I add the iodine crystals. Whoa! But before we start, we have to add the soap. Here we go. <laughs> I love science and I love to learn. Hey, 
What kind of profession do you want to have when you grow up? Whoa, that is so cool. Did you know there are some people that love science so much that they become a scientist for their profession? <laughs> and a profession just means their job or their career path. Whoa, and today we get to experience a little bit about what that's like. And I'm so excited. Are you ready to see the orangish, reddish, yellow do its thing? It's gonna explode and be so cool. I'm excited. Yeah, I can't wait. Woo, do you see this? Yeah, we're about to put the catalyst in. And the catalyst just makes the reaction happen. <laughs> I am so excited. This is going to be so much fun. Are you ready? Because I know I sure am. Let's ready, set, explore. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah! Woo! I love science and everything that booms. I love it when it goes vroom, vroom, vroom. We're ready here, we're ready there. Now let's explore. How about we put in some more? Whoa! Watch that! Whoa! That one is so cool too! Whoa! You see that? Whoa! <laughs> this is so much fun! Now, are you ready for the green? Yeah, me too! Ready or not, here I come! Whoa! That is awesome! Look at that! Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Whoa, do you see that? The soap has caught all of the oxygen molecules that were formed! Whoa! I had so much fun doing that experiment with you. Hey, but all these cool colors got me thinking, why don't I do something else? Really, really cool colors. I can't wait to show you what it is. You see these gloves? Yeah, we are going to need them. They're super important because what we're doing is something called tie-dye. You could say that's far out, man. <laughs> that's so silly. I can't wait to show you. Come on over here. Whoa. I told you I was gonna show you. Look, we've already started tie-dyeing this tablecloth. Oh, do you know what tie-dye is? Let me show you. Whoa, isn't that so cool? Hey, check that out. Whoa, look at it, that's so colorful. Oh, wow, that is amazing. Look at all that tie-dye. Whoa, check it out. That is so cool. Whoa, there's so many colors and so many things you can do with tie-dye. Whoa, wasn't that so amazing, seeing all the different things you can do with tie-dye? I bet you're probably wondering, how does a shirt go from a basic white shirt to a really cool tie-dye one? And that's what we're gonna learn today. I can't wait to show you, come on! In here, we've got a bunch of different colors. Reds and greens, black, and all kinds of different colors that you can use to do special projects called tie-dye. Yeah, they're special dyes designed to make clothes a certain color. Yeah, and I'm gonna show you how. Wait, do you see those over there? Whoa, yeah, it looks like these are rubber bands. I wonder what you use rubber bands for. Oh yeah, that's right. You help bundle the shirt up in the shape that you want while you add the colors. Whoa. It's gonna be so cool. Now the next step is for us to pick out our shirt that we want to tie dye. How does a plain shirt like this go from something simple and bland to something colorful and full of life? First, we have to get into the certain pattern we want. And for this one, it's called the rose pattern. Yeah, you twist it up like a rose, and then when you open it up, it blooms and blossoms with color and life. I cannot wait to show you. Come on over here. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put it on the table. Then we're gonna twist it up. I'm actually gonna throw a rubber band in the center. And there's no real right or wrong way to do this. It's all about having fun. There we go. And that's a really great start. Look, you know the shirt was all spread out and now it's in this tight bundle. And I'm gonna try to debundle it just a little bit. Then 
we're gonna add our colors. So the first thing that I will do is I will actually make a black border. <laughs> Check this out. Tie-dyeing is so fun and you can do all kinds of other things as well. You could color with markers or crayons or pencils even. But today, the art that we're doing is tie-dye. <laughs> okay, now it's time for the sky blue. This is so much fun. And it doesn't really matter what the outcome is as long as you had a good time doing it. Woo! That was really fun doing that one. And now we're on to the next one. And this one is really cool because you kind of bundle it and twist it on up. Maybe when you have some time, you can do something creative too. Art is really, really fun. And it's really, really important for your mind. It helps you express how you feel with the world. Whoa! It started off all straight and then it started getting all zigzaggy and twisty. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna add one more rubber band here. Almost there. It's so hard. Woo! That was so hard. But you know what they say, nothing that's worth having is easy. And now we're gonna use my two favorite colors. Yeah, yellow and green. Yeah, and that reminds me, always be a friend. Yeah, that means being kind, being generous with your time, and always giving others a turn. <laughs> I like being a friend and I hope you do too. Now that we talked about being friends, Let's be creative. Here we go. I've got the yellow in one hand and the green in the other. And I had a lot of fun doing it one by one over here. I wanna do them both at the same time now. Are you ready? I feel like this white shirt that was plain and bland is really gonna come to life. Hey, I think we're gonna flip it over and do the other side now. Are you ready? Whoa, here we go. We get to do the process all over again. This is the color yellow. Can you think of something that's the color yellow? Whoa, yeah, you're right. The sun is a bright, brilliant yellow. Can you think of something that's the color green? Whoa. Yeah, there's so many things that are the color green. Like, look around us. There's the grass and the trees and the leaves. <laughs> Do you see this? Yeah, that is so cool. This kind of reminds me about being outside and enjoying the outdoors. And that's what art's all about. It's about reminding you and helping you to think of different things that make you happy. And you know what? You make me happy. Yeah, you make me happy just the way you are. So keep being you because the world needs more people just like you. Because just like this, it's unique and there's only ever gonna be one of these tie-dye shirts that ever looks this exact way it's the same about you. You're only gonna be you. And the world needs someone just like you. To make sure that the color goes all the way through the shirt, we're gonna do something called blotching. Yeah, we're just gonna blotch it in there and make sure that the color really penetrates through. That was so fun putting the green and the yellow, my two favorite colors on. But you know, I thought, hey, more than merrier. Why don't we add some more colors? Yeah, this time I wanna add some turquoise blue and some peach red. Here we go. Hey, you know, that was so much fun. Let's do one more for good measure. I really like that shape of the flower that we did. So I want to do that one more time. Before I get too far into it, I actually want to add some color right here. And then we're gonna spin that up and then put another rubber band on. Okay, are you ready? Whoa! Look how cool that is! That was so much fun making this with you. Let's see how this one turned out. Are you ready for the big reveal? Whoa! Isn't this one so cool? Yeah, check it out on the back. This is awesome. I love doing tie-dye. Okay, here's the last one. Here's the big reveal. I'm so excited to show you this one. Whoa! This 
one's colorful, this one's cool, this one really, really rules. Woo! It is so fun doing art and experiencing life through the lens of someone else. And I like to see your art too. Hey, if you like the video and you want to check us out on the next one, all you have to do is look up LT Learning to find us on the next one. <laughs> if you like the video today, just be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Take care. Can't wait to catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Bye-bye. Whoa!